Okay, at this point you may have already put some clips onto the timeline, but now you might think, you know, I really want to adjust some of the length of the clips, maybe want to insert another clip in between two that I've done. So we'll go ahead and try those little bit more advanced techniques, but not terribly hard um, editing tools to use. So let's go ahead and say we want to go ahead and put a clip between these two clips, this clip of people walking, plus this clip of the Ferris wheel. So if we hit shift while dragging the playhead, snap it right in between those two clips right there. So now maybe want to get this clip of the event staff getting the oysters ready or the table ready for food. I'll go ahead and find a spot to start, maybe right there. I'll hit I for in. Play for a few seconds. Hit space again, hit out. But you don't want to adjust that out point a little bit. I can always click, hold, and drag when my mouse changes this little kind of bracket and make it either longer or shorter. Maybe about there is fine. When I'm done, if I click on the overwrite, it'll take this clip and erase what was already there, which is not what we wanted to do. So I'll Command Z to undo that. I want to do the insert, which is right there, where you can see by a little graphic there, it'll push the next clip further out so this clip can go on inside. So I'm going to use that clip. And that's exactly what had happened. You could see I have the crowd. Then I have the people uh, setting up the tables. And I still have my first wheel shot. So now let's say I want to make a clip longer or shorter. It's already in here. Say, so you know what? That clip of the uh, table is a little bit long. If I mouse over the clip, you'll see there's a little handle right at the edge there. If I want to make one clip shorter or longer. If I just click and drag this way, it's giving the new duration in the bottom right. Do you see that there? And it made it a little bit shorter, but also created a little bit of a space. If I right click inside there, I click Ripple Delete, and now that kind of snaps together, and my clip's a little bit shorter. Sometimes I may actually just take the clip itself, click, hold, drag, and move it somewhere else that I'd rather it be which I don't want to quite do just yet, but that's another option. Sometimes you want to just do what's called a rolling edit or a ripple edit, where you make one clip shorter, but not affect the one that's afterwards. So if I clip on that, go in between here, it's now a yellow icon, which means that I'm adjusting this duration, but still keeping this one the, the exact duration that it was supposed to be. So I didn't need to ripple delete that. It's better if you need to actually make it longer, so you can extend the length of this shot while keeping this shot intact to the way it was. So there's a couple of tricks you could do to kind of maneuver a little bit. You could play around. There's a lot more ways you could uh, do similar edits. But here's a couple of suggestions for you that I hope help.